Uyusukasana, shin shin, feet flexed. To start to explore the relationship of the tailbone, sacrum, pelvis, and heart in sitting. So first step, catch a hold where the knees and the shins meet, inhale. And as you exhale, hold on, curl the tailbone under, let it get round. Inhale, rolling the pelvis forward and drawing the heart up. Exhale, let it get round. Inhale, rolling the pelvis forward, drawing the heart up. One more. Exhale, curling the tailbone under, let it get round. And on this last inhale, rolling the pelvis forward, drawing the heart up. Now pause here. Exaggerate the rolling of the pelvis forward and exaggerate the lifting of the heart. So remember the feeling of the brick behind the heart. Now you'll notice when we overdo it up here, this area in the back gets hard. There's a lot of effort. So keep the lift of the heart, but let a ha ah, breath help draw that tailbone down. Let that help widen across the sacrum, even as you feel this heart lift. Okay, now what starts to happen is you feel this effort, the tailbone descending, and the heart lifting. And you might notice, you might be clued into that work that's starting to take place in the belly region, in this navel region, without you having to effort there. Okay, to deepen the stretch in the hips and help prepare us for sitting. Maintain this bloom in the heart and this descent of the tailbone and the sit bones as the hands come out in front of you. Traction the fingers towards you to get a little bit more opportunity in the heart, but notice if it's tempting to let that pelvis roll forward, particularly if you're bendy. It's tempting to break there. So keep that tailbone descending. As that tailbone descends, lift up the heart as if the brick was there. Start to walk your fingertips forward. I like to wobble it a little side to side. Tractioning the fingertips can feel good as you kind of pull your heart forward, curling the tailbone under. This might be the spot. Okay, some of you might be put together that it makes sense to eat those hands out a little bit more. And then eventually, it's going to feel good to let the elbows bend. Let the palms turn up and simply let that upper back round. From there then, chin into the chest, let it roll all the way back up. Exhale, letting the hands come behind you. Now I like to start with my fingertips turning out. Just like it gives me more room in my shoulders and my wrists. Now take your time, kind of wiggle it back and down. I'm going to intentionally let my pelvis roll forward, so I'm intentionally compressing the discs back there. Compression can sound like a bad word, but the compression is what squeezes the discs. And like that old Ayurvedic saying, the difference between a medicine and poison is simply dosage. Wiggle up through the heart. At this point, I like to turn my fingertips towards the torso, which there's a little bit more effort in the wrists and the shoulders. Lengthening up through the heart. This might be the spot that feels good. Okay? It might feel good for you to let your throat open. And it might feel good for you to let that head fall back. Lifting. Yeah. Lead with the heart. Let it come all the way back up. Exhale. Nice. When you're working internally, it can feel less tempting to move fast. Okay, lean back. We're going to repeat that exact same thing on the other side. Sukhasana, shin to shin. Wobble in there. Catch a hold where the knees and the shins meet. Inhale. And as you exhale, curl that tailbone under. Let it get round. As you inhale, roll the pelvis forward and draw the heart up. As you exhale, letting it get round. As you inhale, rolling the pelvis forward and drawing the heart up. 
One more. Exhale, curling the tailbone under. Inhale, rolling the pelvis forward. Now pause. Exaggerate that opening of the heart. So as if that brick was there, exaggerate that lift. Exaggerate the pelvis rolling forward for a moment. Like, feel how effortful that is. Okay? The play now is to keep the blossoming of the heart as you let the tailbone descend. A little bit of a ha ah, breath sometimes helps. So there's this simultaneously lifting up through the heart as the tailbone descends, and the head naturally kind of starts to find a nicer spot. Maintaining this balance as you start to lean forward. Fingertips come forward, suction cup. Traction the earth towards you as you draw the heart forward, noticing if it's tempting for you to roll that pelvis forward. Keep that navel stem back into the spine. Okay, this might be the spot. Only as it feels tempting to do so, starting to walk your hands a little bit more forward. Pulling the earth towards you as you draw the tailbone under, lengthening forward in the heart as if that break was there. Maybe it feels good to creep out a little bit more. And only as it would feel nice. Let the elbows bend. Okay. Let the palms turn up. And let the upper back round. Nice. Chin into the chest. Inhale. Let it roll all the way back up. One more time. Backward bending. Let the hands come behind you. Again, I like to start with my fingertips turned out. Rolling that pelvis forward and drawing that heart up. Wobble a little side to side. Like climb up out of the waist there. And then if and when you might have room, maybe turn the fingertips forward. I like to stay up on my fingertips because while it can feel good some days to be down on the wrists, okay, sometimes that can just feel like unnecessary compression. Wobble that a little bit, wiggle that a little bit. If it's too much in the low back, we'll simply draw the tailbone down a little bit. Lift up through the heart and only as it would feel good. You might let that throat blossom. Lengthening with the chin and letting the head fall back. Excellent. Lead with the heart. Let it come all the way back up. Exhale. Let's meet in the next clip and see if we can put some of those things together towards sitting. Love.